everyone welcome to the base quaker project thank you so much for tuning in this is what the car looked like before we started working on it here's what it looked like with the dash taken out showing off the different pieces within our dash before they got their paint job michael's going around and getting a quick video of what they look like pre-paint and this is what they look like after his paint job he did such a good job with it and with all that pain there is some glow in the dark i'll be showing that off to you in just one moment here's what it looks like halfway done and then here's what it looks like with the glow in the dark oh yeah that's what it looks like installed totally makes a difference now on here we are taking out the top and we are going to be putting in the galaxy headliner with the fiber optics so I'm spray painting some glue on there to make sure that the fabric is going to stay stuck on there really good, especially in all the different temperatures that Oklahoma loves to bring. So here I am starting the poking process. You can see my little one trying to help. He found some holes that I already worked on as I had it fitted to the headliner. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here just to make sure that no matter how it's turned, you can still see it just right. Once I get it plugged in, it will start changing colors and then you'll see me turn off the light and you can kind of see what it looks like. But it's nowhere near what it's definitely going to be looking like. I can't wait for you guys to see this. See, you can see the couple little strands. Now I had to throw this one in there, my little, this is being super cute. Why not? So we have four down, 296 to go. 50 down, 250 to go. That was definitely fun. This is what 300 fiber optics look like before they are cut. Looks so neat. Plus the back, I had to show off the back. It's all organized and nicely put in and gathered. So once you have them all installed like this, then you got to stick it back in the car <laughs> and start the clipping process. The clipping process was the fastest part, I do have to admit, and it only took 20 minutes between the two of us. So about 40 minutes if you were by yourself and depending on how you are when you make a mess. We're just having some fun. I went ahead and I put this on fast forward so that way you don't have to sit through like <laughs> you don't have to sit through all of it. And then here I am putting it on a really fast forward. So I did put in the warning that this can trigger seizures because whenever it decided to go really fast it, it starts flashing here in just a moment, guys. But it does have it where it's activated to sound. You can change the colors as well. It's like my TARDIS. Ah. Got the whole galaxy in the car, guys. It looks so neat, though. Oh, I can't wait for more projects. See, here's the flashing that I warned you guys about. That's what happens when you put on fast forward and you're messing with the lights. <laughs> That's okay. And they do have different modes that you could get. We didn't spend the extra money to get the shooting star install. If anybody wants us to do that, we are more than happy to offer that as a service. But in the meantime, we're just doing the, the fiber optics as a service. And then if you really want us to add the tapestry fitted to the top of the car, it's an additional cost. But this was definitely one of the top projects that Michael and I have worked on together. And this is the Base Quakers project. Thank you guys so much for following along. Don't forget to hit that follow button if you haven't already because you never know what adventures are going to be next. Hope you guys have a fabulous day. I hope you really love this. I know we sure do. Ah! <laughs> so gorgeous. Have a wonderful one, and thank you guys so much for following along. Take care. We'll see you guys again shortly. Bye.